Hello everyone, how you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a gateway laptop. This specific one is um, the model is an GWTN156-4GR. That information can be found on the bottom of the laptop on the bottom. It's being written right on the bottom. It's like engraved. Right, this is model GWTN156-4GR. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up, how you can increase the RAM on this one. They do come with an 8 gig version, 16 gig version, or 24 or 32 gig versions. But if you have this 8 gig and you want to do it yourself, you want to upgrade it. And in this video, I'm going to go over how you can do that. If you want to know your maximum RAM capacity, you can check the video I made on how you can check the maximum capacity for your laptop or PC. Uh, really quickly it's a really short video and these ones they can go up to 32 gig depending the processor model that you get but again check that link so you make sure you know what how much RAM you can put in this video I'm just gonna cover it up on how you can add remove the RAM on this one all right enough said so let's get started the tools that you're gonna be needing is a screwdriver set I'm gonna be using as always I fix a screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there these are S2 Classy Steel, that's why I love them. You're going to be using a bit number zero. If you get the Pro Set, you can, uh, they will come with an opening tool and tweezers and a few other tools. But if you don't want to invert, invest on a Pro Set, get the basic set. And for the opening tool, I'm going to be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening covers and cases. All right, with these two on hand, we're going to start doing the service. First thing first, you want to power off completely the laptop and then you want to flip it upside down and you want to see the bottom inside of the laptop. In here, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. There are two types of screws, the short ones and the medium or what you want to call it long. Those two long ones are the one in the corner, the, the hinges right here, one in here, one on the other side. Go ahead and remove these two long ones first and keep them in one pile so you don't mismatch them. All you have to remember, the long ones are goes in the corner far back. And now we're going to start removing all the screws, even the screws in here. We're going to go ahead and remove the one in the middle and keep them in a second pile. These screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Again, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out through your own upgrade, your servicing, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And it will be a tremendous motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate it. Then we remove all the screws. The next part is really easy. All you need to do, open up the screen a little bit. This one has a broken screen. We gotta replace it. I'll make a video on how you replace it. Anyway, so once you got the guitar pick, you wanna stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. About one or two millimeters inward, and you just wanna twist it, and you wanna hear that big click. You wanna hear those clicking noise. Those are the clips that are getting loose. So go all around in the front end and do the same thing on the sides, all the way to the back corner. I'm just wiggling around here. I don't even have to look at it. I just need to go here and stick it in there. I have the camera in front of me. Just go as much. You don't have to go all the way back if it's not going. Don't worry about it. And do the other side. So. Let me see. There you go. And I'm going to go all the way there. All right. Once you got the front and the sides loosened up a little bit, now we're going to grab it from the front end of the laptop where we have mostly opened it up. And we're going to lift it up and we're going to wiggle it around and we're going to hit those clicks on the back end. There we go. And if you see it's really stiff at the back, you can do the same thing on the back end. You can stick the guitar pick right at the back right there and try to peel it off a little bit. And uh, there we have it. But sometimes by lifting the front end, it would just come out. Those are the tiny clip clips that are in here. You have to loosen them up. All right, so that's the bottom cover. Put that in one side. And down here, you can see the big battery right here. And the RAM, this one comes with an 8 gig on board, soldered on the board. So there's the RAM chips. You cannot replace those by yourself anyway. And there's a one extra dim available so you can do your own upgrade. In here you might have another 8 gigs or 8 and 8. That's a 16 gig RAM, but you can put a 
16 gig RAM right over here, or you can put a 32 gig RAM if your CPU supports it. Again, that link is in my video description to you know to know your maximum RAM capacity. Let's say in here, if you want to add another RAM, you do not need to remove the battery or disconnect the battery to do this upgrade. But if you want to be paranoid to remove it, you can pull this jack backward by putting one finger right there and one right here and pulling this jack straight back. It will disconnect the uh, battery. But it is actually not necessary. You don't have to do it. And grab your new RAM that you want to do. These are DDR4 RAM. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the RAM dim right over there. So you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle. I'm not going down up that way or flat straight. In 45 degree, make sure the notch matches. And I'm going to push it towards the dim, pinch them towards the dim. And then now it's going to be in this position. All I need to do is just push it towards the motherboard and you're going to hear two soft triggers clicking. Just like that. And the triggers has to be straight once it's nicely in place, and that's it. Pretty much put the back of the battery and you're all set to go. If you want to remove the RAM, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers away from each other, and the RAM will pop out in 45 degree angle. All you need to do is to grab it and pull it out in the same direction. Again, put the new RAM in there and push it down to remove, pull it up away from each other and pull it out. All right, this was for demonstration purpose. I'm not actually going to upgrade this one, but if you wish, you can do it. And next step would be to just grab the bottom case. This is very important. You want to, there is a USB-C port right here. And on this side, there's this audio jack. So what we want to do right now, we want to put the, put the audio jack down first. Make sure it goes in all the way in. There we have it. And then you can push it the other way around. And bring it and in here the same thing just squeezy squeezy and nicely in place same thing in the front end just squeeze them together and you should hear that click if you want to don't push on the screen just pinch them together like that and you're all set and the last step would be to just grab the bottom screws put it right on the bottom cover remember the long screws goes in each one inch corner and the short one goes all over the place on the case Again, if you guys like this video, please click that like and subscribe. I will really appreciate it. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the screws. Again, once you power on the laptop, wait about 5 to 10 seconds. Don't panic. In my, for the motherboard to make a RAM check, it takes 5 to 10 seconds sometimes. To detect the RAM and um, adjust the speed. So be patient once you power it on, let it just do its own stuff.